Okay, I'm turning now to the topic of business processes in mortgage lending. Uh, so you can think, think of the business process as kind of like a pipeline. And the first step in the pipeline is sourcing, that is finding borrowers to, to put into the pipeline. So that's what I mean by sourcing. And there are uh, three types of, mor of mortgage borrowers, broadly speaking. There is the purchase money borrower, and that's somebody who's buying, uh, borrowing money to buy a home. There is the rate and term refi refinance. So that's somebody who already has a mortgage, uh, has noticed that interest rates have fallen, and is looking for a lower interest rate. And that's, <coughs> no, you know, that's known as a rate and term refi. Uh, one of the things they might be doing is shortening up the term from 30 years to 15 years, because as we've seen, the payment burden falls over time. And so as the payment burden falls, they can afford a shorter term mortgage. So that's why these are called rate and term refis, because sometimes they, to get the rate even lower, they will shorten the term. And finally, there's the cash out refinance. Uh, that's where the borrower <coughs> may or may not be getting a lower rate, but is going to uh, enlarge their mortgage, take on more debt. So if they had a hundred thousand dollar loan before, they're now, they're now going to have a hundred twenty thousand dollar loan. So these are the three types of loans, and they are three purposes. And from the so from a sourcing perspective, they offer different opportunities and problems. Basically, the what. It, what you want to do in sourcing is you would ideally like to have a captive borrower. So the most profit you get would be from a captive borrower, meaning a borrower who isn't going to shop around uh, for the best rate. The one you would least like to have is a rate shopper because it's hard because then you're just competing on price you've got a very narrow profit margin okay so <coughs> obviously you're more likely to have a captive borrower in a purchase money in for a purchase money mortgage than for a rate and term refi the rate and term refi is an experienced borrower they are not uh, desperate for any per for loan approval, they can exp because rate and term refis are very safe. They expect to be approved, and their whole goal is to get the lowest rate. So the rate and term refi is most likely to be the rate shopper. Uh, cash out refi, at least they've got experience, but they are nervous about the approval process. And purchase money is inexperienced, and also. May, n may not be confident about the approval process and therefore is more likely to be a captive borrower. Okay, so the you can make more money off of a captive borrower. So where do you get the captive borrowers? Very often real estate agents and home builders will develop relationships with uh, with loan originators and it's kind of a you scratch my back I'll scratch yours kind of situation where the originator gets a referral and the referral may very well become a captive borrower which is the one that you can get the most money out of the most profit out of uh, and in return the originator will give the real estate agents and builders what they want, which isn't necessarily the lowest interest rate, but uh, reliable approval. Because what the agent wants to know is, you know, can I sell this house? So if the originator can give a quick and reliable approval, uh, and in fact if the originator gets a whole lot of business 
from a particular builder or real estate agent, they may bend over backwards and approve somebody that, that uh, they otherwise wouldn't. So they, so what they offer is approval and in exchange for approval, uh, approving <coughs> borrowers in a reliable way, they get captive borrowers. And you know, one way for builders to create captive borrowers is, remember we, we said that there were buy-downs, the seller buy-downs of mortgage interest rates. Well, once you do that, you help create a captive borrower, and then the originator can charge a slightly above market fee uh, to the borrower because uh, the borrower is getting this buy down, the bought down mortgage rate from the builder. So there are all these ways for relationships among real estate agents, builders, and lend and originators to have a you, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours uh, sort of situation. Again, going back to the rate and term refi, that is the most competitive. That's where, um, and so the sourcing for that isn't going to be a real estate agent or a builder. The sourcing of that is going to be advertising, maybe a little word of mouth. Uh, but the so there's going to be some probably some scale economies there because uh, of the need to advertise or to get the um, to get the word out that you've got the lowest rates. Um, <coughs> and again, cash out refi is somewhere in between because the cash out refi the approval process is important. So the borrower may not be able to get approval for a cash out refi from uh, every lender out there and so they may have to find have a narrower base to shop uh, to shop at. So um, so you will see, we saw during the housing bubble certain lenders saying you know we'll approve you know 125% refi we'll approve quickly we won't you know, we won't require as much documentation. Maybe we won't even go through an appraisal. Um, you know, whatever they can do to try to compete to um, on the approval allows them, if, if they're unique in the approval sense, then they have the captive borrower and they can charge a higher rate and fees. Um, so that's some of the issues involved in mortgage sourcing.